Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Android developers encounter. Our viewer is struggling with a signed APK crashing when ProGuard is enabled. Let's dive into the details. The viewer has set ProGuard to true in their app, but after importing multiple libraries, the app crashes upon generating a signed APK. They've tried various ProGuard rules to keep class names, but the errors persist. Let's explore what might be going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. The first step in resolving the crash issue with your signed APK is to review your ProGuard rules. Ensure that you are keeping the necessary classes and methods from the libraries you are using. Next, let's address the error message you received. The error indicates that the task app transform classes and resources with ProGuard for release has failed. This often means that ProGuard is removing or obfuscating classes that are required at runtime. To troubleshoot further, you can run the build with this to stack trace option. This will provide more detailed information about what went wrong during the ProGuard process. Additionally, consider modifying your ProGuard rules to keep all classes and methods from the libraries you are using. You can use wildcards to simplify this process. Finally, after making these changes, Try generating the signed APK again. If the issue persists, check the dependency tree for any conflicts or missing dependencies. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If your signed APK is crashing with ProGuard enabled, it might be due to ProGuard removing classes that aren't optimized. This can lead to crashes and bugs. To fix this, you need to keep the problematic classes or libraries in your ProGuard configuration. You can add specific rules to your ProGuard.cfg or ProGuard-rules.pro file. For example, if you're using the support library, you can add rules like nint keep class android.support.v7. This prevents ProGuard from removing those classes. If you're facing issues with a specific library language view, try adding dash don't warn HD Odenhall and NADAS keep class HD Odenhall. If the problem persists, consider downgrading the circle image view library to a previous version that works. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix crashes in your signed APK with ProGuard enabled, start by keeping all annotations. This ensures important metadata is preserved. Next, make sure to keep your POJOs or models, especially those used for network calls, this prevents them from being obfuscated.
For any libraries you're using, add specific ProGuard rules to avoid warnings and keep their classes intact. If these steps don't resolve the issue, run a command to list your dependencies and share that list for further assistance. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix crashes in your signed APK with ProGuard enabled, ensure all support libraries are the same version. Check for recursive dependencies that might cause version mismatches. I noticed you're using versions 25.1.0 and 25.02.0. No. It's best to update your libraries to avoid compatibility issues. For ProGuard rules, use the following to keep your classes and avoid warnings. Keep class beatbox.nile dummy beat and don't warn beatbox.nile dummy beat. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your signed APK is crashing with ProGuard enabled, it might be due to ProGuard removing necessary classes from your dependencies. To fix this, you can keep those classes by adding specific rules. Additionally, you can disable warnings for these dependency classes to prevent any issues during the build process. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.